Welcome, I'm Aurélie Blanc. I'm Sandy Maillard. I'm Tamara Haddad. And we've all taken part to a production of the Medieval Barking Abbey Plays for the Medieval Convent Drama Project. So in this video we wanted to show you a little bit the costumes that we've been using for this production. Um, the play involved uh, nuns, uh, priests and deacons uh, performing or <laughs> taking part um, in a liturgy during which they played Mary Magdalene, Jesus and the angels um, on Easter Day. So um, we wanted to show you a little bit with Sandy here how we dressed our nuns, how we dressed our actors to look like medieval nuns the layers of garments involved in the costume. So first of all, you can see that she's wearing um, a cassock. Yeah, really, thank you, <laughs> that's great. Uh, medieval nuns do not have worn cassocks, uh, but the shape was uh, close to the kind of robes that they would have worn. Um, the buttons would not have been there, the color would have been different, but both are hidden. Um, under the, the scapula and the collar will be hidden underneath um, the wimple. So then she's wearing a leather belt and a rosary on the left, on her left hip side. All right. um, and she covers her cassock with a scapula that falls on both sides. It was quite difficult to find information about how medieval nuns were dressed exactly. There hasn't been much um, written about the subject and, and so uh, to try and reproduce it as faithfully as possible we looked into um, modern uh, Benedictine communities and how they dressed and how they would have dressed. Uh, before Vatican II because uh, we're quite lucky with nuns that their habit didn't change that much until Vatican II and we also looked a lot at um, medieval images in manuscripts of nuns um, and that helped us a lot especially for the next part so um, she's wearing a Saint Bridget's cap uh, that we made ourselves <laughs> very proud of that um, so the, this kind of cap, um, there is one that from the dates I think between the 13th and the 16th century, they're not quite sure, um, that a convent uh, in Uden uh, owns and it's a Saint Bridget's relic. So they believe it really um, belonged to her and we reproduced the same cap. It was also a cap that you can see in a lot of medieval images um, it was written, um, it was written, it was worn by women um, at the time. And now Tamara is pinning the wimple on the top of the cap. Um, when we looked at medieval images, uh, you could really see the sort of, the way that the fabric is draping, is draped underneath her neck. So that's why we, uh, we went with, it's one of the reasons we, we chose to give our nuns a wimple and not um, a collar like some more modern nuns have. And then the final layer will be veil. And since they are Benedictine nuns, it will be a black veil. Uh, we had uh, in the play a couple of novices, so we put them in wide veils. Um, we're not quite sure that that's how novices would have dressed in the Middle Ages. As I said, there's not that much that has been written about it. Um, but that's how they are dressed now. So we, and that's how they were dressed as well, pre Vatican II. The veil is a rectangle of fabric. Um, we found that they had either, um, not necessarily nuns, but veils in the Middle Ages were either rectangles or um, circles or semicircles. We we're not quite sure what to pick, but um, on uh, medieval images you can often see that the front is, um, it falls in a 
sort of square, rectangular way, rather than in a round way. So we went for um, the rectangle, which is also a lot easier to make than the <laughs> semicircle. Um, yes, and it's pinned both to the cap and to the wimple. Alright, so we have one medieval Benedictine nun. <laughs> yeah, or turn up. <laughs> <laughs>